I bought the Philips Hue Color Starter Kit and in this video I will go from unboxing to actually setting it up to reviewing and a little more explanation so you can get the whole experience of using smart lights. This is How It's Creative, my name is Felix and welcome to this video, let's dive right into it. The box includes three color LED lamps, a switch and a bridge, two manuals and cables. For me it has a European and English connector and a LAN cable. We have the bridge with a LAN connector and an AC connector on the back. On top we have several indicator LEDs and a button in the middle. Then we have the power adapter that you slide in the right connector. It will make a click and you're all set. Here we have the switch. On the back we have two sticky strips, magnets and holes to attach it to any surface. You can get the controller off the holder and with the magnet it clicks back in place. The bulb feels very rich and it shows 806 lumen. It's an E27 fitting which is very common. That's about it. Let's set it up, you will see how easy it is. I use velcro to attach the bridge under my desk. next to my router. I will use the sticky tape to attach the switch placeholder to the wall next to my door, so I can easily turn on the lights when I come in the room. Then I screw all the bulbs into my preferred lamps. First, download the app in your application store. Open it up. Be sure to be connected to the same internet connection as the bridge. If your bridge was found, double click on the button on the bridge. Update if necessary. This can take some time. Now you're all set. You can start creating rooms. Give your room a name and you can choose any preset for the icon. Then select the lamps you want to connect, that's it. Now I'm setting up my Google Home with the U. Go to your Google Home application. Click on Add. Click on Set up device. Click on Have something already set up. Find Philips U. Log in to your Philips U account. Then double tap on the bridge. Philips Hue will now be linked to your account and is ready to use. You can also see the lamps and turn them on or off in your Google Home app. Let's go through the mobile application. When you open the mobile application you will see a list of all your rooms. The overall color, the on off switch and the brightness of the different rooms. And an overall on and off switch for the whole house. If you click on your room you will see all the present lights in that room and you can change the color of all lights, or individually. And also, turn the lights on or off, one by one, or all together. You can also select a scene to match your mood. Next, we have routines. Home and Away lets you automatically turn on and off your lights when you enter or leave the house if you turn on out of home control. Wake Up will turn on the lights slightly when you want to wake up to match your alarm. This really helps me when waking up. Go to sleep is the opposite of wake up, it will turn off the lights automatically at the time you want to go to sleep. Of course you can also ask your virtual assistant. Then you have other routines, timers and from other apps. Why I use the prepare me to go to sleep, where the lights will dim within half an hour preparing me to go to sleep. Then we have the explore tab. Here you can see friends of you, or in other words, everything that you works together with like Google Assistant. You have apps we like, which is recommending third-party applications. You entertainment, which is more for gaming and videos. 
I will explain more about this later because this is very important if you're setting up U-Sync on your desktop or laptop. Then we have U-Labs, which gets very interesting. This is all experiments that you can use with your lights. You have a lot of awesomeness to choose from. Check it yourself. Then you have how-to videos, which is basically instruction videos like this one. And what's new with all the updates. Settings allows you to turn on or off out of home control. Show connection state of the U bridge and connect more bridges. Then you can add lights or rename your existing lights. Same goes for accessories. Then you can set up an entertainment area which allows you to position your lights where they give you a more vivid experience when synced. You can change the power up behavior. You can update the software for the lights, accessory and bridge. And you have an advanced where you can set your location and sun timing. Then you have the about page which basically, yeah, doesn't need any further explanation. That's it for the mobile application. With a third party application you can add your on and off switch to your quick menu, making it even easier to turn your lights on and off with a single click without having to open the application. I use this all the time. Next, we have the U-Sync, which is a computer application recently made available. I use it on macOS and I will show you what I can do with it. When you open it up, you instantly see if it is connected to your bridge. This will only work if you have an entertainment area set up like mentioned before. You can turn the area on and off and dim the brightness. You can select different scenes. I really like Disturbia, Magneto and Hall. Next you can sync your computer with your lights. You can do this for games, you can do it with music or use it with video to use it like Ambilight. What do you think would add value to the Philips U still? Let me know in the comments and I mostly aim to reply to all of your comments below. Leave a like if you appreciate all the time I put into these videos to make it for you. And subscribe if you want to see more. Most importantly, thank you for watching this video. This was How to Creative. See you next time.